Hi, this is Miss Says, uh, explaining the second video in the series of home e-learning. This second video is also conservation of angular momentum, and it's about a boy who runs at a currently stationary merry-go-round. So the boy, run, 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 jumps on board, and because the boy has momentum, now the whole system, boy, merry-go-round together, are going to rotate. So let's start putting this down in formulas. We know conservation of angular momentum, momentum before, L before, equals L after. So the momentum of the boy, he is running, but relative to the center or the pivot, he has his own momentum, MVR, is equal to momentum after. Well, after, he jumps on board and they stick together. So we have a complicated moment of inertia. We have the boy's moment of inertia, plus the merry-go-round platform itself which is 1 half mr squared, omega final. Um, oh, I guess I forgot up here at the top to say that this is an inelastic collision. Hence, we have the two things added together for this complicated angular, uh, com complicated moment of inertia. So let's plop in all the numbers. We have a lot of numbers on this problem. The boy is 50 kilograms. He is running at 1.6 meters per second. When he eventually jumps on board, he is 1.8 meters away. And then we use the mass of the boy again. Let me erase that. That came out a little messy. 1.8 squared plus 1 half the mass of the platform, 300, and the 1.8 squared omega final. So use your calculator. You get 144 equals 648 omega final and quite simply enough you then divide and get 22 radians per second equals omega final. All done.